What can you ladies tell us about Nikki's day with Peter from The Bachelorette? <laughs> <laughs> well, was, you set me up. Well, actually, the one thing I will say, which was really amazing, uh, my husband's never commented on men before. He just does that. And Peter came to the door, and when Brian opened it, and they, like, you know, like, we all introduced ourselves, and they left. Brian was like, whoa, that's, like, one really good-looking man. He is extremely like, good-looking. And I was like, I looked at Brian, and I'm like, you've and never shape. said that before. Yeah. And he was so nice. He was so he nice. Came, but yeah. Their date was forever. Five hours. I literally went to bed. And I drank the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we know. I was buzzed. She was so buzzed. She I came, came to my, my house after. Whenever. I was already sound asleep. I thought, okay, my first date, don't you think like sisters are supposed to talk after? No, no, this is my thing. If so, if you've called someone's phone five times, left them ten text messages, they don't pick lie, up. They lie. are asleep. I called you once and texted you. There was once. a lot of other like, people you who awake, were calling I was my like, phone. whatever. She knocks on my door. I thought it was a robber. I just, because I was in the middle of a sleep. Like, my husband and I are, like, falling out of the bed, like, freaking out. I mean, One I knocked on the Bernie, door and she thought it was Bernie's a robber. Room. Do robbers knock? I'm so confused. No, because I saw these lights and not thinking the cameras were with her. Coming through as, like, aliens were coming to my front <laughs> door and I had to go grab my baby. They're so dramatic. I I'm open like, it and I see them. And them, the whole, me. And the whole camera crew. And yeah. I about lost it. She, oh my god! And then she got so mad at me. Rude. It was awesome because she goes, "Oh wow, I just wanted to come over and talk to my sister." I'm like, "It's 11 p.m. <laughs> I'm sound asleep. I have to be up at like 6 a.m. with a baby." Authenticity. Right. Right. I was just really excited. And I'm like, the date ended right now. I'm like, you went at like four o'clock. Well, I, I, I will say, <laughs> objectively, isn't that normal? <laughs> I don't know. He, he is. He is very good looking. He is <laughs> very good looking and an, a great guy. Like super sweet. He's attentive. He pays attention to detail. Like, he found out I love black licorice. He showed up with black licorice. I was like, whoa, that's amazing. Right. So, like, those he, things, I was like, wow, that's cool. And he asked really great questions. Maybe next time without the camera crew. Yeah. 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 Actually, yes. That was really hard. So, the, the other dude who's going to be on the series, and I, I got to tell you this, this is a personal perspective. I told Jamie before you guys came in. When I interviewed you for the partner reveal, Dancing with the Stars, oh, yeah. I thought that the chemistry between you and Artem was off the hook. I actually yeah. asked him at the time, I'm like, are you intimidated because she's engaged to the champ? And he was like, nah, he wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm Russian. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, what's the deal with that? Where do you guys stand? Are you, are you hanging out? Like, what, what's the deal? Well, I mean, I think, like, the world totally saw the chemistry between us. Like, it's same with the people in the ring. You either have chemistry with people or you don't. And it's funny because recently, like, I went to the farmer's market. Like, I'm the new girl in town, and I'm, ha like, trying to experience all these different things in L.A. But I forget L.A. comes with paparazzi. Like, you don't right. just get to go to the farmer's market. You, you want to live there friends. now? Well, whatever. I just dress a lot cuter now. I'm not going to walk out of my house and like, grossness. Um... But, I mean, that's been fun, too. I mean, he's been another one on, like, my little dating circle that it's... Well, it's so weird to call it dates with him now because, like, I've been to dinner with him before, but it's just different now. And so, I don't know. It's just, like, having all of these different guys and guys that I've known and guys that I don't know, it's... Wow, the single life. It's fun. Yeah, it And they're exhausting. all just different that dates. But it's cool when you have... When you know someone you don't because the dates are just so different. Like, I'm either on an interview or it's just like, yes, I mean. Oh, my gosh. Like, yes, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> as in that, like, not that that happens. Like, as in, like, No, geez. we know. <laughs> no, no. I, <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> I I'm not good with, like, the interviewing date types. You're phenomenal. Please. That's why you get buzzed. It's like, oh, the more they talk, the more I drink. But it, I feel like with him it wasn't so because listen when you when you train like that with somebody <laughs> and you know from training in wrestling yeah. and you know from having personal trainers in terms of fitness right. when you put that sort of time there's an intimacy that, that comes with that that's like different than the romantic intimacy but it's intimacy nonetheless totally I'd right. imagine you could kind of cut through some of that nonsense once you're w with dating him as opposed to meeting somebody for the first time right for well sure. it's you have that connection and you just you know them like you know them on a you're comfortable with them like I know so much about Artem because we spent so much time together and so it's just completely different and there's comfort there that's I, it's hard to it's hard to describe it's different than meeting Peter for the first time and he just walks up to my door both handsome men you're doing you're doing very well yeah do I you mean consider yourself at this moment today right here in the room with me do you consider yourself single oh hell yeah I'm single 
Hey, what applications, please. Yeah. Like, I, this is the thing. Media is killing off like my single. I, I am single.